cats are often seen as independent creatures who don't need a lot of attention. But this couldn't be further from the truth. Cats are social beings who thrive on love and affection. As owners, we want to make our cats' lives the best they can possibly be. Whether you're looking for ideas on how to bond with your pet or simply aren't sure how to make your cat happy, we've come up with a list of things you should do with your cat more often. Number one, engage your cat's hunting instincts at mealtime. Food toys and puzzle feeders can provide valuable mental stimulation for your kitty. There are tons of food toys to choose from. Balls with holes that treats fall out of, tipping containers, and full-on activity centers that require your cat to pay attention to various objects for a food reward. If your cat is new to food toys, start with simple ones, like ball-type food dispensers, to avoid frustration. For cats who are more experienced, you can try more challenging ones. Over time, you might even decide to feed your cat's meals through puzzle toys rather than offering free food in a bowl. For cats who seem uninterested in puzzle feeders, it's best to start with an extra tasty treat to gain interest. You can also hide different toys around the house so your cat has to hunt them down. In the case of food toys, your cat will be able to complete the full predatory sequence. Hunting, catching, and eating. Number two, trick training. If you thought clickers, commands, and cool tricks were just for dogs, you're wrong. Cats can learn tricks too. They are just trained differently. Cats like to work with their owners as partners, not as subservient creatures. You may have to get a little creative, but with a little persistence, you'll be amazed at what your kitty can do. If you want to trick train your cat, here are a few tips to get you started. Cats don't respond well to punishment, but do respond to positive reinforcement. Reward-based training using treats is usually the best option. The tastier the treat, the better. Get your cat used to getting a treat for a certain behavior, then practice a few times in a row. Keep training sessions short but frequent. Clicker training will allow you to cut down on the number of treats you need for training as you get more advanced. Over time, the click becomes the reward. Start simple before moving on to more difficult tricks. Once you've mastered a trick, learn a new one. The most simple starter tricks are come, stay, or lie down, but cats can learn to jump, fetch, roll over, or any other trick you decide to teach. Number three, make more time to play. It's easy to get wrapped up in the mayhem of everyday life, but setting aside time every day for play has more benefits than you might think. Studies show that 11% of cats have no toys, while the average house cat has only seven toys. Even if your cat has tons of toys, what they really want is for you to play with them. While 64% of cat owners play with their cat at least twice a day, play sessions are limited to five to 10 minutes each. If you're struggling with behavior issues in your cat, this could be why. The same research shows that cats who had longer, more frequent play sessions with their owners had fewer behavior problems. How do you play with a cat? The answer lies in your cat's hunting instincts. Cat play is often focused on pouncing, chasing, and catching prey. Playtime is almost indistinguishable from hunting, which means cats like toys that resemble prey. Any toy you can move around in some way will be fun for your cat, but every cat likes to engage in play differently. Experiment with different types of toys, different types of movement, different materials, and different sounds to find which ones your cat engages most with. Rotate toys frequently to avoid boredom and play in different locations throughout the day. While we can't ask your cat how long they'd like to play for, researchers suggest that the time spent playing should resemble the typical length of time a free-range cat spends hunting. The typical hunting session lasts about 30 minutes, but most indoor cats won't stay engaged that long. Letting your cat determine the length of the play session is a good guideline. When they are satisfied, you'll know. Number four, nap. It's no secret that cats love to nap, so why not train your cat to nap with you? Despite the common misconception that cats are nocturnal, they are not. Cats are actually crepuscular, meaning they are most active at dawn and dusk. Outside of this time, cats can sleep up to 16 hours a day. 
Despite this being their natural sleep pattern, most domestic cats adopt sleep patterns similar to their owners. Since most of us don't get enough sleep overall, take a cue from your cat and embrace nap time. There are health benefits for both of you too. Sleeping with your pet shows your cat that you love them and creates a stronger bond between the two of you. Since cats have a naturally higher body temperature than humans, they will keep you cozy and warm. Cats often purr when they snuggle up and relax with you in bed, and that purr has extensive healing qualities. The sound frequency of a cat's purr has been shown to lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of a heart attack, and reduce stress. The vibrational frequency also corresponds to treating various conditions like bone fractures, pain reduction, muscle sprains and strains, swelling, and shortness of breath. Number 5. Groom Your Cat Did you know that your cat spends over half of their awake time grooming themselves? Clearly, grooming is important to your cat. There are reasons your cat dedicates so much of their time to grooming. Grooming is not just a way to keep clean, it has other benefits too. Grooming keeps your cat's skin and coat healthy. A cat's skin and fur naturally produce oils that keep them hydrated. Oil glands in the skin are stimulated through grooming. It also removes dirt and debris and keeps predators and prey from smelling them. How does grooming prevent smells? The licking removes odors that have been absorbed into the fur. Cats also groom themselves to cool off on a hot day. By wetting their skin and fur, their saliva evaporates and provides a cooling effect. Bonding and relaxation are other effects of grooming. When you engage in grooming your cat, it's like giving them a relaxing massage. Even giving your cat a daily brushing will help reduce their stress levels and create a calming state. Don't be surprised if your cat tries to groom you back. Cats lick each other when they are strongly bonded. It's your cat's way of saying, I love you. Number 6. Give your cat a bird-watching adventure. Have you ever noticed that cats like to curl up near windows? It could be that they are sunning themselves, but often it's because cats love to watch what's going on outside. Birds in particular offer entertainment for cats, and most cats will sit and bird watch for hours. It's unclear whether this is because birds are prey or if the movement attracts their attention. If you're lacking birds outside your window, consider installing a bird feeder or bird bath in a spot your cat can see. Giving your cat a perch by the window offers them a real-life movie while they relax. It also gives them something to entertain themselves while you're away from home, which is much better than them getting bored. Number 7. Enjoy the great outdoors. It's true that the outdoors poses risks to your cat, and most veterinarians recommend keeping cats indoors for safety reasons. We're not suggesting that you just let your cat out to roam. There are safe ways you can let your cat reap the benefits of fresh air and sunshine. Cat-friendly enclosures or catios offer your cat a chance to adventure outside risk-free. Screening keeps your cat closed in so you can give them some freedom, but still keep them contained. Just be sure to check that the enclosure is escape-proof and that your cat can't access any dangerous objects, chemicals, or toxic plants. Teaching your cat to leash walk is another option. Many cats adjust quickly to walking with a harness and leash. While the training process can require some time and patience, this simply gives you more time to bond with your cat. Some cats will even tolerate being tethered to a stationary object in the yard while you are close by. Cats often exhibit unique behaviors that leave us wondering just what it is they are trying to say. One common behavior that many people often find baffling is when a cat rubs against us. And turns out, this gesture is extremely significant in the cat world. So check out this video where we talk about what it really means when a cat rubs against you. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.